So throughout his presidency, Donald Trump has continuously done things that are completely morally indefensible. And what I'm about to tell you about something that he is possibly going to do falls right in line with this trend of him doing things that are downright morally egregious. And why he's doing this is especially infuriating because basically the reason why he's about to do what we are all speculating he will do is because Fox News told him that this is what he should be doing. So what is he going to do? Well, he is contemplating pardoning war criminals. American war criminals who didn't just accidentally kill civilians because they were careless. They went out of their way to kill civilians because they're psychopaths. So for more on this, we go to Jamil Bowie of the New York Times who writes, Last year, a federal jury in Washington convicted Nicholas Slatton, a former security contractor, of first-degree murder for his role in killing one of 14 Iraqi civilians who died in 2007 in a mass shooting that also injured more than a dozen others. Matthew Goldstein, an Army Green Beret, was charged late last year with the murder of an unarmed Afghan man during a 2010 deployment. Edward Gallagher, a Navy SEAL who served in Iraq, was reported to authorities by his own men who witnessed him stabbing a defenseless teenage captive to death, picking off a school-aged girl and an old man from a sniper's roost, and indiscriminately spraying neighborhoods with rockets and machine gun fire. There are others, all accused of war crimes while fighting in Iraq and Afghanistan. President Trump apparently wants to give them a presidential pardon timed for Memorial Day. Trump is not responding to a groundswell of public support for these men, nor are current and former military leaders calling for leniency. Just the opposite. They have urged the White House to abandon this plan. Absent evidence of innocence or injustice, the wholesale pardon of U.S. service members accused of war crimes signals our troops and allies that we don't take the law of armed conflict seriously. Martin Dempsey, a retired general and former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, said on Twitter. So this isn't a case where the military generals are saying, Trump, please pardon these war criminals. They're advising him to not do that because that makes the military look bad. That makes it look as if we are a bunch of bloodthirsty warmongers who just go to these other countries, we invade these countries, and then we kill civilians just for the hell of it. And we're talking about literal psychopaths. Literal psychopaths. I'm going to link you in the description box to a video that Kyle did on this over at Secular Talk because he kind of goes into great detail here. And the details are grotesque. Like, the people who he is considering pardoning... Just aim rocket launchers at civilian houses or encourage, you know, their fellow service members to do that. Uh, they'll just take aim at a little girl, kill her. So these are psychopaths. Like, these people are not just accidentally killing civilians, which, you know, that would be a tragedy and devastating in and of itself. But they're going out of their way to kill civilians. And there was also kind of an attempt at a cover-up because when people saw what was happening, they tried to report this. And they were told basically to um, not tell anyone. So this is a disgusting story. And the prospect of pardoning them, it's, it's really flabbergasting. And again, military generals, Joint Chiefs of Staff, you know, they're saying, what are you doing? Why would you do this? But here's why Donald Trump is doing this. Take a look at this compilation by Media Matters. Fox News is telling him exactly what they think he should do. And he's doing it. The president may be preparing pardons for servicemen accused of war crimes. Pete, this is something you've been on. Yeah, for first of all, I can't stand that headline, accused of war crimes. They're not war criminals. They're warriors who, who have now been accused of certain things that are under review. Basically, you have this war hero, American war hero, step forward and say, I'm going to kill the bomb maker. I don't yeah. want him to kill any more of my comrades. And it, now the Pentagon, because he admitted that in an interview with Brett Baer. Mm. <laughs> you, you, the, the rules, the bureaucracy, the rules of war get twisted in certain ways where now war heroes are being prosecuted like criminals. He uh, got in some trouble, got him some legal trouble. He ends up in jail in a, a maximum security prison. And if this crime was committed in Chicago, maybe he would be free and at home with his family. But we allow people to create and incite race riots, but they're found night guilty. Plus, 
It's the battlefield. Isn't the goal to kill ISIS? And he made a mistake what, you know, some of these federal... Killed a bad guy the wrong way. He, yeah. kill, he killed a bad guy. Because of catch of release, because we're killing bad guys the right way, we're releasing these guys and then we're capturing right. them again. Killing someone who we know killed Americans. Who's a terrorist. Who was a terrorist. I just don't know of an American who's unhappy that there's one less Taliban bomb maker trying to kill our troops on the planet. So... Why wasn't that bomb maker on the kill list? They're not... Because they're not killing the enemy in the right way. They're killing right. compassionately. Like the pocket square. And okay, yeah, and when buildings start blowing up over here, right. exactly. uh, and, and that they don't really have a compassionate way to take out skyscrapers. Academic rules of, uh, of rules of engagement, which have been right. tied in the hands of our war fighters for too long. It, he's, he's charged with murder. He was convicted of murder. And who he murdered were members of the en enemy on a battlefield he was sent to fight for this country. He, he made a guy. tough call. He kills the guy. This story percolates to the top because the Pentagon is deciding to prosecute this yeah. man. Bray, mm -hmm. which I think is a lot of us looking sideways at it saying if he did his job and killed a bad guy how in the world are we now prosecuting him so you have to look at this case as just an overzealous out of control prosecution that's trying to make a career out of taking down a Navy SEAL yeah the army army over prosecutes I mean look at Clint Lorenz the decision he made uh, in the, on the battlefield in Afghanistan the these lies and rumors that were cobbled together by Millennial SEALs are shameless and utterly false I heard from a lot of members of our military on this issue who were completely outraged mm. who were saying you know what you have to be able to defend these people who stand up for us and their decisions that they make there in the line of fire every Every single day. We've been able to raise over $80,000 in the last two weeks for this defense through the sales of these shirts. And Andrea, to paint this picture, and I know the president's aware of this, he's evaluating this, he's got to mm -hmm. take action. Sean, you keep fighting for Eddie, and uh, the president doesn't usually let these things uh, go go by without commenting. So hopefully he weighs in and steps up, uh, and it will do a lot of good for a lot of people. What you have endured is more than most men or women in this country will ever know. And so I want you to know we express that gratitude to you and to your husband. Thanks. Sean and Andrea, thanks so much. Uh, we have your back, and I look forward to having Eddie on the show soon. They're going to love this. Yeah. These are the good guys. These are the war fighters. And, and, uh, and making a move like this by Memorial Day uh, would be, I would be, be interesting. Be, what wow. some of so what you just witnessed there were a bunch of lies. You had one woman in the midst of that compilation say, oh, well, the people who reported this, they're lying. They're millennial, uh, I forgot the word that she used, but they're millennials in the military who are lying. You had, you know, Fox News hosts try to reiterate this point that, oh, well, you know, they didn't kill bad guys the right way. What? We're not talking about them just being overly cruel to enemy combatants. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about civilians that they murdered in cold blood. That's what we're talking about. But they're trying to say that these war criminals are heroes just simply because every single troop is an American hero, no matter what. There's no room for nuance, no room to actually look at their actions. If you are in uniform, you're a hero. I don't think anyone in the military would even agree with that because that's such a broad generalization that it doesn't even make sense. But that's what they're saying and everything they're urging Trump to do, they're doing it. At the end there, um, he said, how wonderful would it be if Donald Trump pardoned them on Memorial Day? And that's what he's planning. So think about this. Fox News hosts are so powerful that all they have to do is float a particular policy that Donald Trump should carry out. And this will actually galvanize him to take action. Imagine that. Imagine the immense amount of power these pundits on TV have. You bloviate all day on Fox News, share your uninformed opinion, and you have enough power to get the President of the United States to take action. And they're trying to goad Trump into doing this under false pretenses by literally lying about these, uh, these war criminals here. Like, they were bragging about the people they killed. Like, they were exchanging photographs of the slain bodies. These are literal psychopaths. A normal person would not just willingly kill another human being. These aren't people who are, you know, um, enemy combatants. We're talking about civilians. But Donald Trump may pardon them because Donald Trump doesn't have a moral core. Donald Trump just does what he thinks will please the people at Fox News. He's literally doing it because 
Fox News has some uninformed opinions about this. Sorry, but I don't think that these psychopaths should be roaming the streets. Because if they're willing to kill civilians in Afghanistan and Iraq in cold blood, what makes you think they wouldn't do that here? So this is a disturbing story, and the fact that Trump is even considering this, it goes to show you that he has no moral core. He just does what he thinks will appease Fox News. Disgusting.